My name is Bonnie McEnany. My husband was Eamon McEnany. He worked on the 105th floor of the North Tower of the World Trade Center. The thing about September 11th is, uh, unfortunately, it becomes part of your identity. Uh, no matter what you do or say, it's always going to be that way. When people see you, that's what they think of if they know that you lost someone. Um, and so that in itself uh, requires some contemplation because, you know, obviously none of us would uh, prefer that to be the situation at hand. Um, and given that, yeah, I think when, uh, whenever an anniversary comes around, you know, uh, people look to us to see how are you doing? So there is general concern. Um, people want to be comforting, but they're also curious, you know, because this was so horrific, and maybe by knowing you, they're closer to the event itself. The only thing I can, I can say about it is that you just have to get used to it, because it's the way things are. And if you can uh, take the learnings and the experiences and try to do some good as a result of the difficult circumstance you've been put in, um, I think it's a win-win for everyone and you know many people are doing many wonderful things as a result of, of their losses, uh, foundations that have sprung up you know, to help various causes. When you do something good as a, a result of uh, going through uh, an experience like this, it really does alleviate the pain of it. The book project and the spiritual side of this in general has given me something very healthy to focus on. Um, the end result for me has been incredible strength uh, in terms of dealing with, with the aftermath of what happened and the loss. You know, from time to time I still uh, find a coin, usually, with, usually a penny, usually in a, with a very significant date in an incredibly unusual location right when I'm thinking about, you know, asking for help from God, from, from Amon, from whomever. Um, and, you know, I, I'm always surprised by that, but pleasantly surprised. I mean, I found uh, a penny uh, in my printer when I was thinking about things and I was changing uh, the, the cartridge. Um, I was walking down the street. This happens not un in an uncommon way. Um, and I would be thinking of him and then a glimmer would catch my eye and I'd look and I'd see another penny and usually as I said the dates are very significant so that's for me but I will say um, I've also been equally amazed by the miraculous stories that people have shared and it's usually the simplest element in nature or the simplest component of a story that resonates the most because it's so sweet and so special it's a wonderful thing to realize that when you truly love someone that they never really leave you that they're there and as soon as you realize that and are open to the signs that they provide, you're in a whole different plane in the context of, of where your grief is. You're much more centered um, and you know you have a healthier view, an emotionally healthier view of your future.